Hello everyone, my name is Miklos Benz and today I'm going to talk about how to make hand-painted uh, textures using a tablet. Here I already started on my brick texture. I filled the back background color with uh, a dark brown and started painting the mold, I think, the stuff between the bricks with the, with the brighter color, nearly white. Uh, I never use white or, or black in my textures because they don't react uh, to lightning properly in game inside the game engine so you want to avoid that maybe uh, <coughs> anyway I made it uh, I want to make it tileable so I used filter slash other slash offset and you can offset your image and see where the seams are and you can make uh, the seams disappear and make it tileable and that's exactly what I just did here um, now I'm back to the original view and uh, I will uh, start and paint uh, bright colors in the middle of the bricks so they pop out the edges a little bit more um, because uh, you can see that there if, if I brighten the middle part of the brick the, the round the, the edges will be a little bit darker of course um, and this will have uh, give the texture a little bit painterly style uh, I don't want to make it photoreal but I want to have some resemblance to real life so that's why it's uh, made out of bricks and stuff but the texture itself is going to be a fantasy like texture and um, you know you just want to make it look interesting. Uh, what I'm doing here is selecting the brick uh, one by one and changing the hue, saturation, and or even the lightness of each brick. So you know they are <laughs> unique on their own way, not not boring. Um, what I'm doing here is. Uh, uh, picking a brighter color for each brick and uh, paint in some edges around the the middle part of the brick so there are some variation in the shapes you know uh, because basically it's just a box <laughs> not that interesting you know to look at so I decided to round it up the edges a little bit with a brighter color so it will be visible from further away um and i'm i think uh that's what i'm going to do here for a while um i always check my saturation levels uh you can do it by completely desaturating your image or turning up the saturation all the way to the top and see which parts start to burn out first and you know you can check check uh, where is the error <laughs> in your image I always try to uh, work you know in harmony I don't really have too much contrast in my images uh, I have to work on that <laughs> anyway um, because it's a, a really small tileable texture I don't want to make uh, too many big differences between the bricks because that's going to be visible, too visible. So I only make one change. I'm, I'm pushing one of the bricks in, and it's really, really just fun how I can't make it look pushed in. <laughs> but I will work on that later, I think. Um, I'm going to, uh, or I just imported a, a, a texture from real life brick and checked what kind of detail can I, can I put in there so to make it uh, more interesting um, we will work on that later but right now I'm brightening even more the middle part of the bricks because uh, the per first push wasn't enough it wasn't pain painterly uh, enough for my taste so that's what I did here um, I don't know what this was but it looked kind of fun um <coughs> yeah just refining the white stuff between um and 
make it pop even more uh, what I'm doing here is making a bigger texture fill it with black and put noise on it and make a blur, blur motion blur on it so it uh, looks like kind of uh, rain and I mm, pasted that image into my texture, my brick texture and modified it a little bit adding contrast and brightness to it and put it on a uh, difference mode uh, and it's going to give kind of brush stroke feeling to the bricks uh, what I'm doing here is making ambient, ambient occlusion uh, by selecting the middle part and filling it with black and then modifying the selection a little bit, blur, blur it and this is going to make it look like that uh, each brick has ambient occlusion to it uh, it's always a good idea to put that effect in there um, and uh, I have a different group uh, I mean a, a group where I store my layers like the rain effect I just talked about and the ambient occlusion so I can turn it on and off um, turn it on and off and you know I can I I will not uh, lose details if uh, if uh, I'm painting something in there on the brick brick layer. Uh, I have another layer here from CG textures and uh, I'm using it on multiply I guess uh, to have some fine details in there. I added some you know cuts and stuff, nothing special. Uh, and I think this is the final uh, texture here and I'm showing how I use it in my other project along with my other brick texture and you know where I have some brightness, saturation adjustments there and you know some some shading because it's going to be a chimney I guess what, 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 what the word anyway so some shading and dirt using uh, photo sources and stuff and this is uh, how it looks uh, on on the house or in I was just working on um, you know that's about it mm, you just paint and use any kind of brush you know you, you want to use and check on check on some pictures on the web so you know you have references that's about it I think so thanks for watching and you know leave comment or whatever and po post the images you you did with these techniques and you know have fun okay ciao